other than this Cowboys van behind me, this just looks like your average home in Arlington, right? Wrong. This is the home of Stoney Kirsch, the Dallas Cowboys super fan. Hey, what's going on? You guys come on in here. Come check out the museum. It started for me whenever my dad took me to my first Cowboy game there at Texas Stadium. Just being a little kid and going up those nosebleed steps to your seats, seeing that big old field down there with the star right in the middle, that's what they did for me. My mom and my dad would go out dancing, like Western country dancing. And when they'd come home, they'd say, you know, they'd say, hey, you want us to bring you something back? And what they'd always bring me was football cards. That's what I asked for, and I still have them to this day. They would be right there, sports cards, football cards would be one of the first things. I'd go through them and pull out that card that had this helmet with the star on it. So it just kept growing and growing. Every time I saw something Cowboys, I had to get it if I didn't have it already. My dad always taught me there's somebody out there bigger and better than you are. I'm just one of the world's biggest Cowboy fans. There's a lot of us out there. You know, I just do it because I love the Cowboys and I like for the other fans to come over and be able to appreciate all this stuff as well. You know, when people come through here and they smile, that's what makes it all worth it to me. I think you're made move for collecting all this. <laughs> yeah, I admire yeah. you, man. Oh, I admire I mean, you too. Man. I'm keeping this in my, I'm keeping this address in my phone. <laughs> I ain't never losing this address. Walk outside, I want you to see my truck. After spending time with Stoney Kirsch and checking out his Cowboys Museum, I had to come back on a game day to see how he watches his favorite boys in blue. I don't like his uniform. He's got a painting cowboy coat. Oh my <laughs> god! That was perfect. Cowboy <laughs> ice. Stoney is known for his museum inside of his home, but what really makes him stand out is how he gives back to Cowboys Nation. What happened was, was people would come over, all my friends and stuff come over to watch the games and they're like, Stoney, man, you gotta do something with this. People have gotta see this stuff. So, you know, I sat down and I thought about it for a while and the only thing I could come up with is a museum. So I just let any other Cowboy fans that wanna see it, come check it out and uh, give people shuttles down to the games on game days and it's all for free. I've never missed a play, so that's why there's TVs in every room. So I can go from room to room and never miss a play. Look at him reaching the ground. Holy, holy cow, what a drive. That was crazy. Yes, it never touched the ground either. That's a catch all the way. That was awesome. That was yeah. awesome. That is great for sure. Yeah. It's Thanksgiving Day, or should I say Cowboys Day. Where else would I be than at Stoney's house? You know, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving without the Cowboys. That's playing. right, baby. Every Thanksgiving, that's what we look forward to. That's what our whole lives revolve around is the Cowboys playing. Better than the Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, Dallas is one thing. I mean, it's America's team. We love them Thanksgiving Day every yeah. year. We're the best. Number yeah. one. I have never in my life seen nothing like this. It, it's fantastic. It's almost like I want to cry. It's, if it's, my dad was alive, I'm telling you, my dad would be his best friend and live here. My dad would never leave this house. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. You Happy did. Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> Right here in this 
infamous Cowboys van that's owned by Stoney Kirsch. Hi, I'm Ronnie Orno from Eunice, Louisiana, and I'm the number one Dallas Cowboy fan, probably next to Stoney, but I am number one. <laughs> in 2012, I got voted Cowboy Fan of the Year in the whole world. 2013, I got voted into the NFL Fan Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, which is the ultimate for a fan. I have the Hall of Fame ring, uh, and uh, there's less than 100 of us in the world that are in the Hall of Fame, so oh, wow. it's a big honor. It's like just like the players, when they get into the Hall of Fame, that's the best you can do. So, you know, as a year I was inducted at the bottom. So, Very cool. It's been one ride for sure. Something I never even knew existed. I never even dreamed of that. So, yeah. anybody said dreams don't come true, believe one thing, they do come true, even beyond that. Favorite moments is probably, you know, the schools come over here when the little kiddos come over, you know, that are just, they're so excited and they're so true, you know, they're so, uh, I don't know what the word is, but they'll come over here and they just so appreciate it so much. They're such big Cowboy fans just to give back to those guys and give them something to Cowboys when they leave. That's, that's the best time, you know. Your first collection of football cards. Yeah, you put them on your box. Yeah. This place is about things that you don't see every day that you can't go to the pro shop and buy. These things I've been hunting my whole life. Dallas Cowboy City. Three, two, one. Awesome. So see what you do is you get this train going because everybody's getting ready coming into the game, see? So you get the train going. You gotta come in and drop people off. You know what happens before every big game, right? Everybody gets into the game, and you gotta have, gotta have the national. <laughs> okay, and then you know later on after that, then what happens if it's a big game like the Super Bowl or something like that? You gotta have the fly. Over. Now there's a little turbulence, but they are in formation. <laughs> Far right over the top of the stage. Then you also see this guy here on the day flying around. <laughs> the old blimp or the zeppelin, whatever you like to call it. Every time I visit Stoney's house, I leave with a little bit more knowledge about the Dallas Cowboys. That's what being a super fan is all about, passing along your passion for the team that you love. For Fan Media Network, I'm Michelle Stradling.